a way to win the game in the end. You're trapped, you're trapped. Ready, ready. Looking to throw on second down. Vaughn trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. Then it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on His teammates going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing opening weekend in the NFL. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future all pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago. Really, it grades out as a pretty darn good class. So you have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization. General manager, personnel department, college scout. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's Emmanuel Sanders now as he and the rest of the offense march back onto the field. Not only does he not have a catch, I don't, I don't think he's been targeted in this game, but they're winning. And if you ask a receiver of his magnitude, he'll tell you that it's because everyone is focused on him anyway. Okay, you've taken it away. No catches, no targets, but we're still winning. I've opened things up for the rest of my team. I know how receivers think. <laughs> They've been using him as a decoy, and effectively so. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Operating out of the gun, Flacco. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. It's a game of 23 yards. First and ten here for Flacco. That's complete to Jake Butt. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. in his home state, Royce Freeman getting the carry. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup.